What is up, everyone? Azario here. Welcome to the October 22nd edition of the ADS Play uploading schedule for the week of, of course, October 22nd to October 28th. Yeah, I had to make sure. I had to look at the calendar. But there's some exciting things going on this week, um, including, you know, games, of course. Uh, so we're going to change up some plans leading into the Halloween special. Um, I'm going to talk about the PlayStation 4 Pro and update you guys on the two-week plan I have that I've been talking about for quite some time. So most definitely I'm going to uh, get that info in for you guys. And you know what? Let's get started. First, let me talk about the Halloween special. Now, I've had the video up as a featured video on my channel for quite some time. And of course, you know, for whatever reason, nobody's really voted on what game they wanted to see in particular for the Halloween special, which means I can only assume that, you know, nobody really has an opinion on what they want to see. Like, people really can't make up their minds as to which game is uh, going to be best for the Halloween special. So, instead of me taking votes and doing one game on the week of Halloween, I'm going to change it up. We're going to do a Five Nights of Halloween series, like a mini series, from October 26th to October 31st. I'm going to be playing a different game each day leading up to the night of Halloween. And it's going to be a marathon for each game. So I'm talking about a good three to four hours of just live streaming with the viewers, having fun with each game and um you know it's gonna be great so instead of people having to vote how about i just give you all five games how about that instead so that's the first thing instead of the voting and doing one game we're going to do all five games from october 26th to october 31st a different game each day five nights of halloween special leading up to halloween and trick-or-treating and getting, going to get candy and all that other good stuff uh next up I want to talk about the PlayStation 4 Pro. So this is actually one of the things that I was speaking on in regards to, I don't know why they didn't show up, uh, my two-week plan that I had uh, for you guys. Now, for those of you who aren't aware what the two-week plan is, um, I ended up getting a new job that pays more money, gives me more hours, things like that. The only downside is that, you know, I work from Monday to, to Friday. Uh, and, of course, I have a set schedule. That's not a bad thing. But, um, you know, it does limit my time during the work week as to when I'll be able to live stream. You know, I don't really get, like, random days off like I used to. So I get the weekends off. So that's the, that's the days I know for a fact I'll be able to live stream in, to the capacity that you guys are used to. Um, however, I, I am off at like around 4.30, uh, so you guys can't expect to see live streams from around like 5, P, 5 Pacific uh, Standard uh, to possibly like 7 Pacific Standard. Um, so that's definitely going to be uh, the new... So forget about that. You guys know that you know this house is never going to be 100% quiet. You know I got to deal with background noise, so I had to pause the video there. But um, yeah, going back to the two-week plan. For those of you who don't know about it, the two-week plan was you know me. I, I began a new job, and uh, you know it, which means a lot more money is coming in for me. I mean a lot more money. So I'm able to speed up the process of me being able to buy the hardware that I've been, you know doing crowdfunding for it and I really didn't push the crowdfunding because I don't really like donations and things like that. I'm not going to stop people from donating but it's like I don't really beg for them. But um, that's what the donations would have went towards. Me, I'm in a position right now where I need a new gaming laptop or I need a, a gaming laptop because this one that I'm using currently it can run certain games but they, it can't run it at the best capacity. You know like I have to turn the settings real real low in order for me to even 
play it without crashing, basically. Like games like League of Legends, games like Heroes of the Storm, etc., etc. And plus, there's certain programs that I can't use because this laptop is just going to crash. So, in order for me to produce the quality of videos that I know I can produce and run the programs that I need to run in order to get said quality, I have to be able to... Basically, I need new hardware. Everything needs to upgrade. So, the first step in me getting these things was to just make a plan um, about certain things I wanted to get before others. And one of those things was a new gaming laptop. And a, a new gaming laptop, I wanted to get the PlayStation 4 Pro, which I did buy. Uh, get a new Nintendo 3DS with live stream capabilities uh, built into it. So that, I can, so that I can pick up uh, doing Nintendo 3DS playthroughs again because I know a lot of people have been asking me about certain games. Um, get a new digital camera as well as uh, a few other things. But and with the money that I'm going to be making, I can make all of this happen before the end of this year. You know, now of course it's going to take time, you know, little things here and there, but most definitely the gaming laptop was the first thing on the list to buy. However, I ended up coming up on a a little you know bit of money and I went to go try out something that I wanted to try out uh, and I, I bought a PlayStation 4 Pro um, actually just last night actually the, the night before I'm actually recording this video that's when I went and bought it I, I, I bought it last night on uh, like I went to Walmart I just bought it because I wanted to test something out you know you guys know that I I'm not really big on visual you know, visuals aren't really a sale point for me when it comes to video, when it comes to like a game system. So I wasn't really adamant about getting a PS4 Pro. I, what I did find out about was a 2.4 gigahertz um, connections and 5 gigahertz connections. So um, I was, you know, basically the difference between the two is that 2.4 gigahertz connections, you know, every hardware device has it. Anything that connects to the to the internet has a 2.4 gigahertz connection uh, but not everyone has a 5 gigahertz connection but to understand the difference between the two you know it's basically like you're sacrificing range for connectivity that's the difference between the two the reason why so many devices have a 2.4 gigahertz connection because it has a wider range but because you have so many devices that can connect to it i'm talking about from your neighbors to everybody in the surrounding area um because you have a 2.4 gigahertz connection you know so many sources are pulling from it you end up getting lag when you're using wi-fi as, as well as several other things so uh, if you got 2.4 gigahertz connection a wired connection is like the best way to go but since i don't really have that option um i have to you know use wi-fi and 2.4 gigahertz connections it just it, it just isn't doing it for me so I ended up getting the PS4 Pro because I wanted to test to see how good the 5 gigahertz connection was. Now, I download, you know, I uh, figured out I actually needed a LAN cable to transfer all my data. You know, basically like the way we used to play, um, uh, like the old school, uh, like the old school, um, Pokemon games like when you needed like the cord in, in order to connect like one Game Boy to like the next in order to transfer like the Pokemon from one Game Boy to another that's basically how you have to treat the two PS4s they both have to be on they both have to be connected to the same source of internet and then you have to you know transfer it then you have to have the LAN cable connected and then it just gets transferred like that basically like the old school Game Boy uh, games so You know, I, I did all that. I, I played a few games off offline. Um, I ended up playing a couple games with the five gigahertz connection, and I will say this: the five gigahertz connection did what I thought it was going to do. You know, it was a more stable connection, even though the upload speed wasn't as high as I seen other people's upload speed was. Um, because I don't have so many. Um, sources pulling from that connection it's the, the, the connectivity is more consistent and plus five gigahertz 
doesn't have as wide of a range as 2.4 does. So it's more congested for that home that's using it. You know, you don't have too many people that has the five gigahertz to pull from. So the connection was most definitely, you know, more uh, stable. I didn't have to deal with lag like I do with my original PlayStation uh, 4. Uh, forgive me if you hear that background noise. Please forgive me. But, um, but yeah, I, um, yeah, like I, I was playing Overwatch last night and I didn't have any lag. You know, anybody who's seen my recent Overwatch videos, it seems like every so often I get like a, an extremely laggy match out of nowhere and it's a headache. And not only with that, but with online games like, you know, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, um, Mortal Kombat, I end up getting lag, uh, and several other games that I play online. It just, you know, is a laggy experience from time to time, and it gets annoying. So the 5 gigahertz definitely did what it was supposed to do, especially in this house. Nobody else uses 5 gigahertz internet, and I mean nobody. Nobody even knows about it. So for me to have a system that can connect to it, that would actually be beneficial to me. Now, I tried the PS4 Pro, uh, it, it was only a test run, I didn't want to keep the PS4 Pro. I tried it, I initialized it, I ended up, you know, wiping the whole system clean. You know, of, of course, it, it wasn't my primary PS4, it wasn't set to be my primary PS4, so I didn't lose anything, like, my account or anything, um, or my games or anything like that that I had, but, uh, it definitely did what it was supposed to do and it made me see that I was uh, making the right decision. Now, do I need the PS4 Pro? No, because I found out that the PS Slim can actually connect to the 5 gigahertz internet anyway. The 4K and all that don't really bother me. Um, it, like, that's not a selling point for me. It's not a selling point. Plus, the 4K didn't really show on some of the games I was playing anyway. So, <laughs> not every game was going to have it. So, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, too much in this house but yeah it's a um it's definitely it definitely did what it was supposed to do so let me just say that and move on so um let me take a look at the laptops right here this is actually the next thing i wanted to speak on now this is the first thing i want to officially buy and keep um there's a new gaming laptop you know and i've been hammering for this thing because i absolutely need it and the main one i've been looking at um, was the with the what was the HP Omen? Cause that's pretty good. Now my, my budget, my budget, I want it to be around like three thousand. But I don't want to spend that much if I don't have to. Obviously, I can get a working PC that isn't you know coming out the pocket. You know, that, that pretty much that isn't going to cost me an arm and a leg. But I think you know, I think I, I honestly think that three thousand dollars is paying too much for one item. That's like too much you know you know i can buy a couple games with that that's not uh more than a few um yeah it's not the smartest thing in the world to do to be spending that much money on one system especially if i can find one for like 1600 for like a thousand to like 1600 that can do what i needed to do you know and best buy definitely had the options um so i, I kind of set the you know like the filter to only bring up ones that cost around uh, 1,000 to 1,500. And most definitely, these are the ones that came up. But I know what I'm looking for, and this is probably the one I'm going to end up getting. The HP Omen 17.3 inch laptop with Core Intel and the NVIDIA GeForce GTX uh, 1060. Because I think that's one of the latest. Um, that's like one of the latest uh, graphics cards to put in a gaming laptop, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm not really hip to a lot of, uh, of the hardware for when it comes to these computer upgrades, these laptop upgrades, so, but I think that's one of the better uh, graphics cards you can get, and I'm also looking at this HP Omen right here, because this is another one, this this is like the first one I looked at that, said, that made me say, okay, this is definitely one that I wanted to get, so... So yeah, man, uh, these are the, the main two right here. They're well within my budget. I can get it literally as early as my first uh, 
paycheck from my new job. So literally by November 3rd, I could possibly have this. Literally. And have it to play and use over the weekend. Just get all my stuff from this laptop transferred over to that one with a USB stick and just continue on from there and i would just keep this one as a backup you know just in case anything happens to that one just in case anything happens with that one you know i'll have it as a backup because like it's not going to hurt to have a backup computer you know it's, it's not going to hurt but most definitely it's going to be one that i'm going to be keeping, I'm going to be keeping my eyes open and i literally can't wait to get it because it's something that i absolutely need uh but besides that um, you guys know I have, um, uh, why is this like that? There we go. Damn. So, you guys know that I do have, you know, the games I'm playing this week. Um, Middle Earth Shadow of War, I actually played a session of that last night for about like an hour and like, what, 50 minutes. Um, you know, the Evil Within 2, I'm gonna dive back into that this afternoon. Uh, Blue Reflection, we still gotta finish that. Uh, we still got Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I wanna play a, a few more sessions of that before I send that back to Gamefly. I'm gonna actually buy, like, here's the thing with me in fighting games. I like to buy my fighting games, you know, as uh, as downloads. That way I can just access them right away. You know, like, I like to keep my hands, in, you know, I pretty much like to keep my fighting games off disc. I don't know, it, like, really, that's just the thing with me. You know, so. But yeah, man, that's it. That's everything. So, thank you guys for watching. Please, I gotta hurry up and get out of here and go uh, bring this PS Pro back, get my money back, and go buy like a slim or something. Because uh, that's the only way I'm gonna be able to get everything uh, taken care of and done with. So, yeah, man, that's it. Peace. Um, if anything else happens this week, I'll be sure to inform you guys and let you know. So. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys.